Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to talk about a visual display of data called a stem and leaf display. As an example of a stem and leaf display, we're going to use this data and we're going to categorize it according to the tens place digits. So you can see that the lowest value in the data set appears to be 15 and the highest value is somewhere in the 50s. So the stem is going to be the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, 10s, 20s, 30s, 40s, and 50s. And then we're going to use the 1s place digits and place them next to the correct 10s place digits. So for example, the first number 15, which I'm going to cross off because I've used it, is going to give us a five next to the one. The next number is 58, and that gives us an eight next to the five. The next number is 37, so we place a seven next to the three. The next number is 42, so we place a two next to the four. The next number is 20, so we're going to place a zero next to the two. And the next number is 27, so we're going to place a seven in the two row. So it's going to go next to that zero for the 20. And then we're going to continue in this matter, 36, 57, 29, 42, 51, 28, 46, 29, 58, 55, 43, 40, 56, and 36. We call these ones place digit the leaves, where the tens place digits are the stems. So that's why this is called a stem and leaf display. You can also have a ranked stem and leaf display where the leaves are placed in numerical order. So the stem and leaf display on the right is ranked. And you can see it's the same numbers, but placed in numerical order. The stem and leaf display conveys the impressions that a histogram would without a drawing. But even better, it also preserves the exact data values. So if you look back at the stem and leaf display, you can tell not only are there more numbers in the 50s, but you can also identify specific numbers like the number 58, which appears twice. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That helps other students to find the video.